My name is called Alex Taban, born and raised in South Sudan. South Sudan is the newest born country in East Africa. It got its independence in 2011 from Sudan after decades of war. This is a very long time, by the way, though. I'm majoring in film and TV production in San Diego City College, California. As a person who grew up in Africa, I didn't know the history of black people in the U.S. until I came to the U.S. In the U.S., I got to know a little about racism through what has been happening against the black people on the TV and social media in general. Otherwise, I didn't know that black people went through dirty history in this country. I didn't know the magnitude of how racism impacted the life of black people in this country. I even didn't know about the racism because we were not taught about it in Africa when I was in Sudan. However, I took black study class 150 as a requirement for credit transfer to CSU or UCLA. The class is taught by Professor Donna Watson, one of the most amazing professors that I've ever come across. This class actually helped me understand the deep history behind the stereotypical contemporary and self-images of African women in literature and film and media. Upon learning different modules and different topics and subjects, I get to know much about how black people were treated, suffered in the film industry in this country. To mention a few of these modules, I learn about through a lens darkly by Thomas Allen Harris. Then we also learn about a couple of poetries. And one of the poetries has been brought from Africa by Phyllis Whitley. And we also get to learn about um, the Pontius Sequente Ventral, the rules that perpetrate slavery and legalize rap. We learn about one drop rule. And uh, we learn about African American women and the 19 amendments. We get to learn about race, media, and uh, black women in early 20th century. We learn about face resonance. We learn about how black women were whitewashed by arts. I will learn about Jim Crow. We learn about the trauma of systemic racism killing the black women. And uh, we learn about the character of Mummy, Jezebel, and Sassfire. These are the characters that stereotyping black women in the media. We get to learn the history of the black stereotype on the screen. We learn about why Hollywood portrayal of black women is problematic. And after learning all these modules, my mind was completely shed, completely shed, because it made me understand how black people were marginalized in the film industry in the United States. It now makes sense to me why black females and actors have a specific and limited role in Hollywood. Hollywood gives them roles that degrade their personality. Roles that present the black people in a very negative way in the eyes of the public. You can see the character I mentioned earlier, the character of Mummy, which was uh, portrayed in the movie The Help. This character, it depicted an African woman having an interest in serving the white families. And in actual cases, not. Because it shows that an African woman is more concerned about the white man's family and is less concerned about her family. African women were just forced to do that. We found that they just been detained in the house to save white family and they don't have any opportunity, you know, to do something for their life. Look at the character of Sasfire. The character of Sasfire was seen in the 
in almost in, in the show. It shows uh, black women as an angry woman and manipulative person to their black men. And actually sends African women is not like that. They are not like that completely. Now, if you look at the character of Jezebel, which was portrayed in the Birth of the Nation film, it shows how black women were sexually lewd, sexually corrupt. All this role present black female actresses in a very negative way. These are the kind of the character that destroy the identity of an African people. If you hear about Hollywood, you may think that Hollywood was not corrupt. But when you take classes like the Black Studies, that's when you will get to understand the politics of film in a Hollywood. You get to understand how black people were treated. Before then, I used to believe how good Hollywood is. I used to hear that Hollywood was the best place, it's the dream of everyone who wants to become a filmmaker. That as a black person is a difficult journey for you to go to the top in Hollywood. It's not easy. That's why I want to thank God for people like Regina King and Melanie Masakusa who paved the way for black female actresses to rise and be independent. Thank God for people like Ryan Coogler, the director of a Black Panther movie. This movie has, has really portrayed the culture of African people in a very positive and a very amazing manner. It tells about how women contribute to leadership, helping men. You'll see in the, the character of T'Challa receiving advice and, you know, working together with his sister and the mother. So that shows that, that shows the unity and the team work of the African people. For you to become a very effective filmmaker, you need to understand the history and the mechanism of how filmmaking works in this country. With all these models that I've learned, it will really help me uh, become an independent filmmaker and it will really help me in the journey of my filmmaking. And that's why I would love to encourage you to study or to take the classes for Black Study 150 class with Professor Donna Watson. This class will help you understand the history and the mechanism of filmmaking in this country so that you can be able to make the right choices in the journey of your filmmaking.